Direct from the heart of Midland, this is the summer 2017 edition of MPS Today. My name is Scott Cochran, MPS Curriculum Specialist for Auxiliary Education and host of the show. Today is our favorite show of the year. You'll meet our international exchange students. These young people have traveled from around the world to spend the school year at Midland and Dow High Schools. Now remember, you can watch our show on our YouTube site. Just go to our website, www.midlandps.org, and click on the YouTube button and you can find all of our shows there. And that'll include sporting events, graduation, and all kinds of other great shows. Now let's meet our international exchange students. To start off, we'll travel to Spain, where we have Vignette Pirello and Berta Sanchez. Vignette and Berta, welcome to the show. Now, uh, Vignette and Berta, you're both from Spain, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, why don't you tell us a little about, about where exactly in Spain you're from, Vignette? I'm from Barcelona. Okay, well, that's a big city, right? Yeah. So, and uh, what is Barcelona like? It's just like a big city with a lot of traffic and a lot of people. It's really cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And Berta, where are you from? Guadalajara. And where's Guadalajara in, in uh, um, Spain? It's half an hour by Madrid. Okay, so it's near Madrid. So it's kind of in the yeah. center of the country then. Yeah. And is it a, it's, it's a larger city too, isn't it? Yeah, but it's like pretty similar to Midland. It is, okay. So it's not real huge. Yeah, no. <laughs> And what are some, what do you, is, is there a lot of history in Guadalajara? I mean, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Because that region of Spain, there's a lot of uh, um, old buildings. And what, what is your town known for? Um, it has a palace that is like famous because it's old and. Now, since you live there, you probably don't ever go there, right? Is it just no. when people visit or something, you yeah. take them there. So what do you like to do when you're in Guadalajara? Um, hang out with friends or like going places. And so where do you guys like to go when you're when um, you have some free time? Outdoors, to the park or yeah. Okay. Good. And uh Vignette in, in Barcelona and, and you live just outside of Barcelona, I think you mentioned yeah, I don't, this before. Yeah. Right? I don't live in the city. So what is the what's the day to day life like for, for uh, young people in, in Barcelona in that area? Um, my house is like near the train, so I just take the train, I go to school and then I hang out with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And so that's, you know, it's probably a, a little bit different home than it is here, isn't it? So yeah. now you've both been here since the beginning of the school year, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who are you living with right now? Um, living with the Hoons, when okay. they're sick. Yeah. And, you're, and you, how's that going? You guys having a good time together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice family. Do they have children in, in school yeah. too? They yeah. have four girls. So there's a whole lot of girls in the house now. Yeah. Are you guys all getting along okay? Yeah. Yeah, good. So you must have lots of chance to kind of talk. And what have you, what have you found? Like, how is life here compared to, to life in Guadalajara for, for teenagers? Like, it's so different. People do different stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. What are, what are some of the things that you've done this year that were new that you've really enjoyed being able to do? Um, sports, basically. Okay. And also, you have your track and field uh, jacket on today. Yeah. We were talking earlier, I know you have a track meet today. And what's, what events are you participating in? I'm doing the 800 a mile. Okay. So you must be fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess we'll find out at the meet, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but you've enjoyed being on the track team. Yeah. And that's a fun, right? there's lots of students on the team, and yeah. it's a good chance to get to meet people. And the coaches are good, too, aren't they? Yeah, I they're so nice. Yeah, they're great. So that's, but that's something different. So you don't have a track team associated with your school no. back home. And uh, Bignette, how about for you? You're, you're in the track team yeah. too, and, but you're more of a sprinter, it sounds like. Yeah. 
So what are your events that you're participating in um, today? The 100, 200, and 4 by one Okay. Well, good luck to both of you in the meet. I hope you Thank go really you. fast yeah. and, and do well. Uh, what are some, besides being on the track team, what are some of the things that have been new for you this year? Um, the football games, pom-pom. We both were in the pom team oh, okay. on the fall season. I guess everything was new. Yeah. We hear a lot from our exchange students that the, all the sports and the yeah. activities associated with school are different for them. Is that the same mm -hmm. for you too? Yeah. yeah. So you jumped right into it. If you got her in the POM team, that's a big thing in the fall. Yeah. So um, were you tired? I mean, just after a full day of school and then <laughs> practice or a game? Yeah. And you get used to it. Yeah, you get used to the schedule. Well, let's talk a little bit about school. You're both at Midland High School. And uh, what have been some of your favorite classes that you've been in this year? Psychology. Yeah, you like psychology? Yeah. That's with Mrs. Toner, probably? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what kind of things have you learned about this year? Um, about the dreams, the way we think, the way we act, a lot of things. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what are some of the other classes that you've been in? Um, choir, that we have a concert tomorrow. Uh, it's a busy time of year. Yeah. <laughs> Then I have psychology, English, government, weights and conditioning, okay. and math. All right, so it's a pretty mm -hmm. typical schedule. Yeah. What, have, were, have you worked out in a weight room before, or was that new to you this year? No, I've worked in a weight room Okay, before. so you were kind of looking forward to that. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Good. Uh, Berta, how about for you? You're in, uh, what classes have you enjoyed this year? Um, all of them. I'm taking choir, French, orchestra, psychology, American literature and English. Okay, that'll keep you all busy for sure. <laughs> what uh, what do you play in the in the orchestra? Violin. Okay, and how long have you been playing violin? Since fourth grade. Now, did you play in an orchestra back home, or yeah? <laughs> so that you're kind of used to that. Yeah. Are there differences uh, in your, with Mrs. Mamassian uh, in orchestra here compared to the orchestra you were in before? Um, I mean, it's different because like we don't have a class for orchestra, so you have to go somewhere else. So that's different. So it's in the school day. Which yeah. Is kind of nice. This is it the same type of music? I mean, do you play more Spanish music back home, or I, mean, I don't know? I What's mean, it like? <laughs> yeah, it's about the same. Similar. Okay. All right. Uh, when you're with your friends here in Midland, you know, what kind of things do you do when you're not at school? We go to the mall. We go to the movies. Mm, just hang out. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Now, have you spent a lot of time together um, since you're both from Spain? Or yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you're, I'm sure you're busy with your host families and friends too, but it must be nice mm -hmm. to talk to somebody who kind of knows what it's like back home a little bit more, even though you're from yeah. different parts of the country. Now, there's sort of a, a, a rivalry between Madrid and Barcelona in some ways. Do you, so did you feel that when you first met each other? Were you like, no, not from Barcelona? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. No. When you tell your friends, oh, I met somebody from, you know, Guadalajara, they go, oh, no, we can't talk to her. No. 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 Okay. Well, that's good. That would be very nice. You know, all this way over here. Um, what about, let's talk about food a little bit. You know, tell me about some foods you've had this year that you really liked that were new to you. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Everybody yeah. likes mac and yeah. cheese. All right. Now, do you, do you get any, like, specialty mac and cheeses, or is it just like the craft from the box with the milk? Yeah, and, yeah. that one. All right. Yeah, Berta? me too. You like the mac and cheese also? Yeah. Right. You know, there's restaurants that specialize in mac and cheese now. They have all kinds of, I don't know. It's not my favorite, so I don't know, but I hear, I hear people say that. What else, what other kinds of foods have you had that you liked? Mm, um, nothing different. That nothing stands no. out, huh? Yeah. It's just like the food here doesn't actually taste like food, food. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's different, yeah. So, I. Would you say that when, you, when you're back home that, you, you know, the food is more fresh or that yeah. it's prepared differently? Yeah. yeah. We hear that a lot, too. We tend to yeah. try to do things very quickly. <laughs> maybe it doesn't taste as well done. I don't know. So when you go back home, there must be something that you're really looking forward to having, like a special meal or your favorite food, I mean, your favorite flavors. What might that be for you? How about for you, Berta? Um, paella. Paella, yeah. So that's the sea, it's like a seafoods, too, yeah. right? Yeah. And what are, do you know, do you ever make that yourself? No. <laughs> so who makes it? Who makes it that so uh, good? My grandma or my mom. Okay. Is there a specialty ingredient that one of them uses? Are you allowed um. to tell us? <laughs> no, you're probably not allowed to tell us. You probably should keep it secret. I don't want them to get mad at you. So. But yeah, you hear about that as a really good, what are some of the um, 
seafood that that, uh, that are usually in the paella when you have it? Um, salmon, um, anything basically. Yeah, okay, good. And how about for you, Pina? My grandma's food. Like, I don't have specific food. food. It's just my grandma. But your grandma knows how to cook? Yeah. And she lived close by to you, to you yeah, and your parents? Yeah, like 10 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're looking forward to that? She can make yeah. you a special meal when you get home, I bet? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be something to look forward to. Uh, what else? Like, when you get your first day back, what are some things that you really want to make sure you have a chance to do? See my family and my friends. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. How do you communicate with them? I mean, what, is it phone calls? Is it uh, Skyping or FaceTime? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And how often? Like once a week, once a month, daily? Yeah, once with my family, once a week, and then with friends, like every two or three weeks. Okay. When I have time, because I'm busy. Yeah, you're pretty busy. Yeah. Is that change? I mean, when you first, you were probably busy in the beginning as well, at the beginning of the school year. Did you feel homesick at all? It's a long way to come, and you're here for a long time. No, at the beginning I was really excited, like yeah. I wasn't homesick, but then Christmas came and I was pretty homesick. Okay. Yeah, I miss a lot of my family. Sure. And then now... You probably weren't quite I'm, as busy then either, yeah. right? So that makes it a little harder. And now... Now I'm ready to go home. Yeah, you're yeah. looking forward to it. So mm -hmm. when do you head back home? The 26th of June. Okay. It wouldn't, you know, it makes sense that you want to get back home yeah. and see your friends and family. Berta, how about for you? Uh, me too. <laughs> We're same. going on the same flight too. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. All right. That'll be great. Are you going to visit anywhere else in the United States before you head back home, or are you headed straight back? No, I'm not going to visit. No. Okay. Now, when you go back home, uh, do you have time left before you graduate from high school, and do you have plans for after that yet? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> Haven't figured out what's going to happen after yeah. high school. But how, do you graduate right away when you go home? Do you have a year or no, two? No, I have two more years. <laughs> okay. And then yet, is that the same for you, I think? No, I have one more year. One more year. Yeah. Uh, do you have an idea what you want to do after high school? I want to go to college, but I don't really know what, like, to study what. Right. We'll figure that out when you get yeah. there. Yeah. All right. And then are you both planning to go to school in Spain, or do you have somewhere else in Europe or the U.S.? Any thoughts on that yet? No. In I Spain. Know. It's early. Yeah. But probably Spain, is that what you said? Yeah. Maybe the last year of college I'll come here, if I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Well, what do you think, tell me, last question, you know, what's one thing that really surprised you that uh, was exciting and interesting for you this year? Mm, like everything. <laughs> everything is so different and just living it. Just the daily life style yeah. Yeah. is different. Has it been a good, a good yeah. year? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, we're glad. And we, we've heard that uh, people have been really happy to get to know you and and it's great that you've been so involved. That makes you have a, mm -hmm. have a really good experience here. So, Well, Bignette and Berta, thank you very much for sharing the school year with mm -hmm. us and for coming to talk with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Now, up next, uh, we'll meet our exchange students from South America. So stick around for more MPS Today right after this. Every year, 40% of all food in the U.S. never gets eaten. 40%. That's almost half the food we produce. Food waste is a serious problem. It impacts all of us. And it's expensive. Your family is throwing $1,500 a year in the trash. We're working hard to put food waste on the chopping block. And you can do the same at home. Learn how to cook it, store it, and share it. Just don't waste it. Go to savethefood.com. We, we just, just finished dinner, dinner and, and it, it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. Her. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying got to try as hard a little as I harder. Can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Welcome back to MPS Today. We're here now with our exchange students from South America, Jose Paz and Fede Hernandez. Jose and Fede, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Now, you're both from South America, from Bolivia and Colombia. Yes. Um, and let's talk about that. So, Jose, uh, where are you from in Bolivia? I'm from Santa Cruz de la Sierra. It's the biggest city in the country. Okay. And it's in the lowlands, not in the mountains. So it's not. So you hear so much about Bolivia being very, you know, uh, have high elevation, but you're in the you're yes. not in that spot. No, I'm not. So either. is it more towards Brazil then, or? Yeah, it's more towards Brazil. Okay. And uh, you said it's the largest city. How big is it? It's like two million. Wow, that's huge. I live like in Metro Santa Cruz. Okay. Yeah. So it's, uh, are you, do you live in a large apartment building or? No, I live, I live in a house. In a house, okay. Yes. 
and how much I, I always imagine large cities I mean, how much space do you have like in your in your home or in your outside area or my house is big yeah but mostly houses are smaller like midland size sure and, and do you when you walk out of the house are you right in the area with shops and restaurants or yes residential okay so it's a sounds like a pretty exciting lifestyle yeah <laughs> I mean it, what do you uh, what do you really enjoy about being right in the middle of things like that the everything is close to me I can just walk five minutes to a supermarket or I can just walk to the mall or I can walk to a restaurant and all my friends live close to me yeah so with that kind of uh, walkability of the area, I mean, how often are you in a car or on a bus or a train? I'm using a car when I have to go to school. Oh, when you go to school, you take a car. Yes. That's a little further away then. Yes, okay. or going to church. Okay, and how often do you go to church? On the weekends or? Every Sunday. Every Sunday, okay. Yes. It's a family tradition. Yes. All right. Uh, and uh, uh, Fede, how about for you? Uh, I'm you from Duitama. It's in the middle of Colombia, yep. basically. Um, we have like, 130,000 people um, I live in a building is a good building I think yeah and okay I have a mall in from my building like one minute and if you want to go to the downtown it's like three minutes walk so downtown is just a couple minutes away yeah it's so it's a similar situation for Jose that you can just step out yeah. your door and you're in the middle of everything yeah kind of. it's the site is like Midland but I live like in the center so it's too easy to get whatever you want. Right. Now, are you taking a, a, a bus or a subway a lot too, or is it for either one of you, or is it just um, it's mostly walking? Just walking. It's you say easy. you take a car sometimes too. Yeah, my my last school was like seven minutes walking. So okay. Yeah, that was close. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Now, no. what is the, uh, what's the weather like where you where you're from? It's warm all the year. Warm all the time. My summer, it's like between 90 and 100 degrees and I was checking the record for the coldest temperature yeah. and the coldest temperature is like 32 degrees and that's our record yeah and it's usually about 60 during winter so even this week it's been kind of colder in the mornings yes and at night yeah <laughs> the winter must have been interesting for you what was that like I was an it was an interesting experience I came to a northern state because I wanted to yeah. see snow and I don't regret. It was cold, but it was worth it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a different uh, experience for you. Yes. And uh, Fede, for you, is it, is it the same? And what's the weather like back home for you? Mm, back home is 61 degrees. So it's cold, but not too cold. And I mean, the long um, degrees oh. are like 30, nine degrees. Okay, so, so it's, it's been cold for you at it's times It's cold too. sometimes. Um, we don't have weather, weather seasons, sorry. So it's like we have like rain or nothing. Yeah. Uh, it's so that's it. Yeah. It's and so what was this winter like for you when I mean, we got a lot of snow and ice and we would have weeks where it snowed a lot? What was that like for the you? The first moment I said like, oh, it's so excited. I like the yeah. cold feeling. But I get here, I say like, oh no, this is really, really cold. So I mean yeah. like, oh no, I'm dying here. But that was really nice. But you got through it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Did you either one of you get a chance to? Yeah. Did you get in a snowball fight, or did you go tobogganing, or I mean, ice skating, sledding, skiing? Uh, I'm just ski once. You went with skiing. Jose. Once. I went. We went skiing and we went ice skating. Okay. And how was that? That was. I didn't break my legs. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah. You didn't have yes. a visit to the hospital, so. <laughs> yeah. It was a success. Brought myself. Really, I think when it comes to things like skiing, it's like you don't really have a lot of fun until like the tenth time. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> kind of figure it out, you know. Yeah. You can get from the top to the bottom without uh, falling, maybe. Yeah. Well, uh, when you are back home, who are you living with? And, uh, My parents. Your parents. Okay. Your brothers and sisters too. I have a younger brother. He is thirteen. Okay. And how about for you? My parents and my brother. He's older than me. Okay. He has twenty-one years. So is he still living at the house? Or no, he's in the college in Bogota. So, yeah, he's now in the house. So it's been an interesting year for your parents then, with yeah, him to college and you here. Yeah, and when I come back, I'm going to the college with my brother. So okay, so you won't be home for going to be long. alone. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be home very long. Yeah. All right. And how is your brother like in college? Uh, he's an engineer. Okay. He's studying engineering, mechatronic. I don't know. Okay, mechanical engineer. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Well, let's talk about your life here in Midland a little bit. Uh, you've both been here for the whole school year, is that correct? Mm, 
I'm in a gap year, so I get here in January. So okay. I'm in this year, I like a sophomore, and I'm going to start again. I'm come back in December. Got it. So you for you you're here for the calendar year then. Yeah. So your schedule is a little bit different. Are you yeah. going to go back home during the summertime, or are you staying no, here? No, just stay here. All right. Well, the summertime is really nice. For yeah. Me. So yeah, you yeah. made it through the winter. You might as well stay for yeah, the summer, I, right? Yeah. We are going to do a trip in the West Coast okay. for our club. That's nice. Well, that'll be good for you. Yeah. yeah. And when are you, when do you head back home? Uh, Mid July. Yes. So you'll finish up the school year and then you take a little trip out west. Yes. And then you'll head back home. And then go back home. And when you go back home, what do you have left to do before you go off to school? I have like five more months of school and then I'm done. Because the school calendar starts in February and ends in December. Okay. So I only have five more months and I'm done with high school. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and that brought out a big smile. So you're looking, you're looking forward to that, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Now, who are you guys, uh, who do you live with right now here in Midland? Uh, yeah, my you? family name is Strauss. Um, okay. My parents, Jill and Scott, and two siblings, Sam and Delaney Strauss. Okay, and how old are the kids? Uh, 16 years, are twins. Oh, there they are. Okay, so you guys are all pretty close to the same age. Yeah. So have you, have, have you uh, had a good time together? I mean, yeah, with Laney. I, yeah. I hang out with Laney. Yeah, okay, good. And how about for you? Uh, I'm with the Clarks. I have three close siblings. I have two sisters and one brother. One is a freshman, the girl is a junior, and one of my sisters is a freshman at college. Okay. That's a busy household then. Yeah. A lot of people. And, no, it's not, and I'm sure they, they're really nice folks too. Yeah, they are. Before, so. Good. Well, what has it been like for you at school? Which school do you guys go to, Fetty? How about you? I'm going to Dow High. And I go to Midland. So you're at Midland High. So what is, how have you liked your school year? It's so interesting. It's so different. Yeah. Because here you have like too much opportunities to have grades and in Colombia it's like uh -huh. like bi weekly have grades. So here you can talk with the teacher to get like credits or whatever. So you can have good grades easily. I so think. there's lots of smaller assignments. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like well you described in Colombia it sounds more like what we do in college where you well there's sometimes just two or three grades for a yeah, whole class in college. Exactly but. like yeah in the marking period is like Four grades, and that's it. Yeah. Here is like maybe all the days one grade. And what kind of grades are they? Is it like a test or a paper or a project? Or um, it's a test. It's a test. All the view. And is it usually like a multiple choice test or a written no, test? No, you need to read. You the need test. to write. Ah, yeah. Okay. For all your classes? Yeah. Kind of mostly. Yes. All right. So which way do you like better? The way the grading is here or the way it is back home? I think here is yeah. most easily. It's a little easier for you. Yeah, you see. That's what you're saying? Okay. Interesting. Well, I'll go back and talk to the teachers. I'll tell them we have to change it and make it a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll call it the Fede plants. That yeah, everybody knows. Fede plants. Yeah, okay. I like it. <laughs> All right. Jose, how about for you? Is, uh, how's your school year going? Uh, my favorite part of the school year was football season. Yeah. Everyone was so excited, and we were starting school. Then winter, I didn't like it so much because there's not much going on in school. It's just like it's a little quieter. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing exams. Right. So it was really like flat. And now it's spring, it's getting better. Uh, people is excited because it's getting warmer. We have prom, graduation, right. and stuff. Yeah. A lot of big events come up in the spring. May gets really busy again. Yeah. All the different things going on. So what was fo football season like? Oh, it was awesome. I was in the cross country team. Okay. So besides going to the football games, I had pasta dinners with the team right. and the meet. So it was so much fun. I met so many people. That's a lot. Of, that's a great way to start the school year, being in an activity like that. Yes. Now, did you ever get involved? It seems like I've seen the the cross country team sometimes runs the flag at the football games. Did you ever get involved in that? No, only varsity only seniors varsity go to that. it. Oh, yes. Only varsity seniors. Okay. But that was kind of part of the whole fun of the games too, right? With the flags and the band and yep. the cheerleaders in the game and all that. Rigmarole. Now you haven't had a chance to see that yet, yeah. so that'll be coming up for you. Yeah. What about uh, you? You mentioned prom and graduation. Are you both planning on on do, going to some of those events? Uh, I'm gonna be in graduation, okay. graduating. Yeah. Well, congrats. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yes. I'm going to prom with other exchange students. Okay. Good. Well, with that'll it. be fun too. Yeah. So do yeah. you have a special? You know, you must have an outfit picked out with a special tie or something. Or no yet. Haven't gotten that far yet. Mm, I don't know. That's what I it's mean. Not that big of a deal. Don't yeah. worry about it. It's all yeah. good. I need to weigh my date. Uh, yes, it's, you should ask. The dress and, yeah, you know. 
Yeah, that's the best way. It really yeah, you need to wait a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you've already got that figured out. You're yeah. a smart guy. Uh, so tell me a little bit about something that you're really looking forward to when you go back home, like whether it's a, a food or an activity, you know, people you want to see. What, Like your first day or your first week back, what do you really want to make sure you have a chance to do? Get all the food I'm missing. Yeah. <sighs> all the food. Like what? What do you miss that you're not having? Uh, I miss churrasco, which is kind of, it's beef. Okay. It's good beef. So you're looking forward to that. Yeah, I miss beef. So, you know, you get like a T-bone steak and put it on the grill, and it's just not the same thing. Huh? It's not the same not thing. Not the same thing. All right. Is there a food you've had this year that you really liked? In here, I like tacos. I like tacos. Usually we don't eat that much tacos, Mexican food in Bolivia. Yeah. And in here, it seems like uh, it's one of my favorite foods. All right. Now. And there's lots of places to get those in town or to make them at home. Yes. Right? So. And Fanny, what are you looking forward to when you get home, whether um, it's food or activity or whatever? I think just my family. Yeah. I miss so much. I'm start to have homesick. Yeah, of course. My third man, m month, so it's kind of hard. That's uh, natural. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm getting better, so. And how often do you communicate with your family? Um, FaceTime. I, okay. Like once a week. Okay. Is that similar for you? Yeah, like every Sunday. That makes sense, though. It'll be a good time. And you mentioned before, I think that's the same exact time zone for you. Yes. So that's easy. And one hour late. One hour late. So that's not too bad either. It's pretty yeah, close. No, it's, it's not like it's the middle of the night when you're trying to yeah. get yeah. Yeah. Close. Like yeah. So, uh, what what do you think is one thing that you you tell a voice to go? I, I know Fede before you head back home. But what is one thing that you think you'll miss about Midland when you go back home? Uh, I'll miss that it's such a small town, but you have so many restaurants and stuff. So I'll miss that. Okay. I'm going to miss the freedom, because in okay. Colombia you need to work so hard. <laughs> ah, so it's a little more of a relaxed year yeah. for you. Yeah, in Colombia you need to say all the stuff that you want to do. So it's like you can have time. It's so hard to have time to do something with your friends. So the freedom, because here maybe I can do a lot of stuff. You're a little more independent. You can choose a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. you can choose here. All right. Well, now when you go back home, uh, and you mentioned that you, you're 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 graduating, and, and you are looking forward to going off to college pretty soon too. By the end of the year, uh, you said engineering. Ye perhaps? No, I want to be a chef. Oh, you want to be a chef? Okay, I think it was your brother that was. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you want to be a chef? Okay. And uh, any particular kinds of food, or just something Whatever. in the restaurants? Whatever. Everything. Yeah. Because if I if I be a chef, I can travel a lot. I yeah. like travel. So. All right. I can learn about it. So you can, you can be a, a chef and do some traveling and yeah, that all sounds learn good Yeah, about the countries and culture. Nice. Now, do you want to do that in Colombia or do you want to travel around to other countries? Uh, in other countries. Okay. Well, you're off to a good start having a school year like this and then... Yeah, in Colombia I'm going to start my study and then I yeah. think I'm going to Spain or something like that. Okay, awesome. That sounds like a great plan. And uh, Jose, how about for you? you? have an idea what you might want to study? Uh, I'm thinking about politics, sciences or foreign relations because okay. I want to travel too. Yeah. That's a good way to travel. Well, good. Well, it sounds like you both have a good plan. Yeah. Well, Jose and Fetty, thank you very much for talking with us today, and it's really been a pleasure to meet you. We're glad you spent the year here in Midland. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Well, this year we have four more international exchange students with us here in the Midland Public Schools, and they're all from Europe. So stick around, and we'll meet them right after this. Welcome to the June edition of Counselor's Corner. I am Jill English, counselor at Dow High School, and sitting with me today is Lori Hallberg, also a counselor at Dow High. We are here today to give you an update on what's happening in the counseling world at both Dow High and Midland High. As we head into June, we wrap up our school year with semester exams for 9th through 11th graders on June 13th, 14th, and 15th. As the school year comes to a close, we'd like to give some suggestions of different opportunities that students could take advantage of in the summertime. Summer is a great time to volunteer at various community organizations. If you're not sure who to contact, United Way might be a good starting point. The United Way website is easy to navigate. Simply type in United Way of Midland County into a search engine, and then you'll see a Get Involved tab you can click on. From there, you can check out all the opportunities, 
as well as contact information. The Grace A. Dell Library, Mid-Michigan Medical Center, and Midland County Humane Society are other popular volunteer sites for high school students. Summer is also a great time to take advantage of visiting some college campuses. Many colleges host visitation days in the summer where they give tours and general information about the school. You can either contact the admissions office or register online through the college's website. If you are not able to attend a scheduled event, most colleges are still able to arrange a tour of their campus for you at your convenience. If incoming seniors, so current juniors, would like to get a head start on completing college applications, most colleges will have their updated applications available online starting August 1st. In the meantime, you can work on organizing your extracurricular information, such as volunteer work, sports and clubs that you have participated in, and various leadership roles that you have held. That's it for this school year's segments of Counselor's Corner. Have a great summer and join us in the fall for a new school year. Welcome back to MPS Today. We're here with our exchange students from Europe, so let's meet them now. We have Lucas from Germany and Helene from Norway, uh, Jeroen from Switzerland, and Leia from France. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. We're glad you're here. Now, uh, we just introduced you from your countries, but why don't you tell us a little bit more uh, about back home. So Lucas, where are you from in Germany? So I'm from the far north of Germany, close to the Netherlands, and okay. um, that's really not where the people think of when they think of Germany. They think of like mountains and forests. That's not where I am. Yeah, so what's the city that you live in? I, I live in Lingen. It's a city that's about the size of Midland. Okay. Yeah. Great. And Helene, how about you? Um, I live just outside Oslo, which is the capital of Norway, in a place called Badum. It's pretty big. I don't know exactly how many people who live there, but it's pretty big. So it's a lot bigger than Midland, then, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot bigger. And do you live right in town or kind of on the outskirts of town? Um, it's about, I think, like 20 minutes on the subway and then you're like in the center of Oslo. And you can just like walk to everything. It's really close to okay. everything. Right. Now, Jeroen, where do you live in Switzerland? Um, I live 10 minutes away from the border to Germany and like about 20 minutes away from Zurich, or probably most people know. And yeah, I live in like a smaller town in the Midlands, like 20,000 people. Yeah. Okay. And Leia, you're from France. Yes. Where in France? Um, I live less than an hour in, uh, from Paris. And what's the name of the town? Uh, I have two towns because my parents are separated. Okay. It's Serifontaine and Andrézy. It's little towns too. Small towns. So is Midland bigger than um, where you're from or about the same size? Andrézy is almost the size of Midland, yeah, but the other one is pretty small. Yeah. Okay. And so what's it like for all of you back home? I mean, so we, we know what it's like here in Midland. Uh, you got to take a car everywhere you go, or you can kind of walk around the neighborhood maybe, but uh, if you want to go do something, you probably get in a car. Is that like the same thing for you at home, or is it different? So um, in, in my town, in Germany, the bicycle is my major transportation okay. tool, so my parents would never drive me. If I ask them, right. they, they'll laugh at me. They'll be like, why? So I'll have I, to remember that the next time my son asks for a ride. I take my bicycle <laughs> to most of the things in town. And if I want to leave my town to get to a bigger city yeah. and do some stuff with my friends there, I normally take a train. Okay. How about for you, Helene? Yeah, to school, I ride my scooter. So I always get around my scooter. I miss my scooter so bad. <laughs> um, it's your freedom, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. my freedom. Um, and my parents drive me somewhere sometimes. And if not, I just take the subway or the bus. So it's a lot of like public transportation yeah. compared to Midland. Sure. It's nothing here, like... We're not real big on public transportation no. here, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we like to all have our own car. It seems yeah. Like. Jeroen, how about for you? Um, it's about the same with, how, with Lucas. Um, we, I go with the bike, like, everywhere. Okay. And if I'm too lazy to take the bike, I just take a bus or a train, and it literally brings me everywhere yeah. I want. So that must be nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. And Leah, how about, you said you're from a smaller town, so. Yeah, um, I still can walk. Um, I can still walk um, everywhere I want. And my parents can give me a ride, too, but that's very less uh, usual than h here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so you've been in Midland since the beginning of the school year, all of you have. And there's three of you from 
from Dow High, correct? Yep. Right here. And Leah is our Midland High representative on the, on the stage right now. All right, good. And so how was your school year gone? Uh, I can start. Um, it was the, the fall was a lot of fun because I played for the tennis team. I played for Dow. Okay. It was just a great time. You guys did pretty well this year. Yeah, we, we won states. It yeah. was a super experience. Then, like, in the winter, it, like, kind of went down, like, there's not much to do like you could do swim but I didn't really want to yeah so I just stayed with like tennis and played in tennis center and now in spring I picked up lacrosse like completely new sport and it, it, it's just a lot of fun good are you yeah. finding that you can play in games in lacrosse yeah and you just picked it up yeah it's, yeah that's great yeah good for you you said you had a game today yeah all right well good luck and that's neat because it's you must be meeting some new people because it's exactly. one team for the whole yeah. town right exactly have you noticed, is it is it uh, difficult having kids from Midland High and Dow High in the same team, or does everyone kind of get along? I don't know. I don't really think so, because, like, the people know each other from, like, middle school. They yeah. play, like, yeah, in middle school together, so they all know each other. All right, well, that's yeah. good. Uh, and how about for you, Leah? How, how's your school year gone? Um, good. Um, I, changed, I changed my host family uh, in December, so I was kind of lost in... Sure. Yeah. So now, since almost the beginning of the year I'm the manager of the soccer team and I have a great time with those girls yeah, yeah. well that's good it's, it's always our, a lot of our students find that too it's nice to be connected to a group whether yeah. it's a team or a club or an activity of some kind yeah. so and how's the soccer season going um, pretty well yeah we are we are pretty strong yeah you have yeah. a strong team you have some tough competition <laughs> that you play you're looking at each other because you're, you're playing soccer yeah right we're now the, too. like the rivals no, kind of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's okay. You can rule for each other every time, except for when you play each other. Yeah, right? yeah. So. the Midland Dow game is pretty big for like every single sport. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So you're looking forward to that, I bet. That'll yep, be. Yep. It's neat to be a part of that. It really <laughs> yeah. is. So nobody wants to lose because they all know each other. You know, yeah. and they'll hear about it. Yeah. And Lucas, you've been involved in lots of things this year too. So starting out in the school year, really the first thing, like literally the day after I arrived, I started with marching band. Okay. And that was a really, really fun experience because during football season we had our play during the halftime and pregame and then we had our showcase and that was really an awesome experience right. and something I never had experienced in any such way in Germany. Then winter I decided to do some recreational basketball and I also started out with robotics which really occupied me a lot until our world's competition a week ago. Right. It's very demanding time-wise, isn't it? It is, really. Yeah. Especially during build season, every day, go there for three hours right. and doing your stuff. Now, what were you doing in the, in, with robotics? So I was part of a mechanical sub-team. Okay. So we actually design, construct, prototype, and build the superstructure of the robot before then the electrical and um, programming people right. come into place and do their stuff. And that was really a lot of fun. It really exposed me to engineering, something I never thought about before in my okay. life. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And Good. competitions were awesome. Yeah, it was a pretty amazing experience for both schools this year. And you, so you guys went all the way to the World Championships and did really well, right, didn't you? Right, we did. Yeah, that's awesome. Congratulations. Um, and you said you were in the, in the marching band. What do you play? I play the trombone. Okay. And um, especially like with my sections, uh, with my section, that was really cool because you get to know each other and uh, now even that carries on into concert season right. where we now split up into different bands but it's still a lot of fun and um, I never used to play my instrument even close as often as I do here because yeah. now I have this regular band class every single day and it's something I love that I'm passionate about so that's really cool. Nice, that sounds great. Well let's talk about school a little bit more. So to let your classes during the school day, I mean what are some of the classes that you've really enjoyed this year? Um, I love my art class because I connected with people, like amazing people actually. And yeah, I like dra to draw, but I didn't practice a lot at home. And so having same, having the same things every day, like the same art mm -hmm. every day, it's like, yeah, I improved a lot. Gives you a chance to work on your skill yeah. over and over. Who, who's your teacher for art? Uh, Miss Wan. Okay, she's a great teacher, isn't she? Yeah. yeah she's really good. Uh, what are some other classes that you guys have really enjoyed? Um, there's many. I have many different classes, but probably sociology. That's a class I never had before. Yeah. And I'm kind of interested in, I think it's a really interesting class. And Spanish, I learned more from Senora Meyer in 
almost 10 months that I've done like the past four years in my Norwegian school. So okay. I feel like I'm becoming like a lot better. Yeah. Why do you think that is? is, it, is I, I think it's because like you have, I have Spanish like every single day in Norway. I would probably just have Spanish like twice a week, one hour. Uh, sure. So it's, it goes like really fast and I think that's like the reason you learn really fast because right. Every single day. So like daily practice yeah. makes a difference. We're hearing a common theme here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I kind of like that kind of school system. Yeah. Okay. And and how was school here different than it was back home? I mean, what in what ways were your classes back home different than here? Um, we had um, weekly schedules, so we don't we didn't have like every day the same thing. Uh -huh. Um, and we had like not such a variety than you, than you have here. Like here, you have like three hundred classes you can choose about. Uh, yeah. We had like, yeah, we had like a given schedule, and we could like choose like two or three classes. Okay, I think that's a great opportunity here. Sure, it is yeah. a difference. How about for you, Lucas? I think that the main difference in the school here is, the school is more than just a place you go to to get your degree, your education, your classes. You actually feel with your school. You have your colors. You have your pride. You have your fight song. You have your teams. Right. There is no such thing as school sports in Germany not as many clubs, not as much yeah. engagement, dedication, involvement. You literally just go to school, go to your classes, leave. And um, that was awesome here to experience that the school is actually, you are part of it. It's part of your life and right. you, you, you contribute and you experience. It's, it's more in and output than in Germany where you just go there. You know, we've been talking a lot about school activities that our exchange students are involved in, and we just found out that Jeroen had to get off to his lacrosse game. So you notice that we're down to our three <laughs> remaining students. So welcome back to the show. Thanks. Uh, let's continue the conversation. Uh, we, we've been talking a little bit about your classes here. Uh, how is school here different than it is back home? So when you were back home uh, in Germany and Norway and France, how was your school different than here? Um, there is... Um, we don't have colors in France, like blue and gold for middle and high. So it's like, I don't know, it's like we, you feel at, like home. And the students, they are not your friend, they are your family. I, I, sure. I feel it like that. It's like my family for me. Because it's a smaller group that you stay with the whole day. Yeah, um, I stay with a lot bunch of people, but yeah, some of them are really close. And okay. yeah, I re I'm, I'm really going to miss them. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, Helene, what is school like for you back home? Um, my school is really small. It has like, I think, 350 students, which compared to Dao is like not a big school at all. We have like, I think, 1,350. Yeah. Um, you're like with a class the entire day, and it's the teachers who are switching around, but at Dao, it's the students who are right. walking, so you're getting really close with your class. Sure. Yeah. You get to know people in a different way. Yeah. Lucas, how about for you? So, um, yeah, you and Nathalie already talked about this whole idea of having a block schedule and staying with the same group of people all the time. And next to that, I appreciate in Germany that my classes are only 45 minutes and we start later. So uh -huh. on three of my five school days, I would come at eight and leave at one. So I would have a significantly shorter school day. Right. And. Um, it's also different because when you get into fifth grade, you enter the highest school and you stay there up to your senior year. So I am in the school with fifth graders. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty strange thinking about it. Yeah. Now that I experienced this high school here in America. Yeah, it's a little different. What um, What are you looking forward to, to studying when you go back home or doing when you go back home? I mean, I guess you should go back to that, Luke, because you mentioned that you have three days where you're done with school at one o'clock. What do you do for the rest of the day? That's a good question. You know, uh, <laughs> in America, I get way more involved in my um, free time than I was ever used to be yeah. in Germany. So in Germany, I would just, you know, do my homework, eat food, uh, play video games, um, you know, exercise, and um, do stuff at home on my own, right. play my instruments. And um, I was by far not as involved in my free time as I'm here, so I just would, you know, hang around at home. Okay, so that sounds pretty different than here. Yes, with indeed. School and all the other activities that you've been involved in. Um, Helene and Leah, what are you really looking forward to, to doing again or, or seeing when you go back home? It's a hard question. It's so many different things. Yeah. Um, 
probably just to see like all my family again, all my friends. It's gonna be really good. Yeah, friends and family, of course. Yeah, that's a lot. Norwegian food. So let's talk about food. Like, what what are you yeah. like? What do you have a craving for that you uh, mm. haven't had in a long time? In Norway, we have like Taco Friday, kind of like okay. most families have Taco Friday, and oh. like the like I guess I call it like the traditional Norwegian taco. Um, what would that be? I really miss it. Like it's quite similar to like the taco we eat, but like we eat it kind of differently. So yeah, I miss it so bad. I'm really looking forward yeah. to eat it again. So when you go, home, you've already let your parents know or somebody that hey, this. Is yeah, good. already told them. Yeah. Like <laughs> the day I'm coming, like we're having taco. So yeah. So is it ground beef with seasoning and lettuce um, and tomatoes? Or yeah, is or thing? you usually like have like a big table and you have like all the vegetables like around the table right. and you like choose what you want it's many different things and you can like choose like hard shell soft shell if you want seasoning it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of conversation with that kind of yeah too, you're right? eating so for like a long time yeah, yeah. Hanging so out and talking. that's kind of like what I like about the Friday of nights course. yeah that sounds like a, a good time yeah Leah what kind of is there a food that you've had this year that you really were excited about or something that you really miss from home um I miss a lot of food type of food from home because America and food is very dry okay and yeah i just miss eating the french way <laughs> that's yeah. something yeah that i really get what's the french way i don't know that's pretty hard to describe um it's like with a lot of sauces sauce um yeah. less dry with i don't know I, I i don't really know there's just a style like okay a spirit in it you know all right so you're looking forward to that do you cook um, I try sometimes yeah. without burning the house down. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Oh. You haven't burned any houses down since you got no, here. Yeah, I mean, no, all right, yeah. well, that's good. <laughs> that's a goal. We'll try to keep it that way for the rest of the year. All right. Uh, Lucas, anything in particular that you've really enjoyed here food-wise you're looking forward to when you go back home? Oh, uh, I'm especially looking forward to bread. Germany oh, yeah. has a huge variety of bread. We have thousands of different types. Okay. But they all have in common that they are really hard and really dry. They give you this feeling in your throat, this feeling of I need to drink something right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like water to get it down. And you're missing that? And I'm missing that really okay. badly. So I, um, I'm really looking forward to just going to those yeah. bakery shops where they only sell different types of bread. Just pick one out of it, sure. cut it into small pieces. Probably made it. that day, right. And then, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm also looking forward to eating potatoes five times a week. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> potatoes yeah, me too. are an option here in America. Yeah. In Germany, it's a mandatory side for most of the meals. <laughs> okay. We eat it in different variations, but basically all the time. Okay. So have you made potatoes for your host family, like of one kind or another? I, I thought I was going to cook more German stuff when I was here in America. Didn't turn out that way. You're busy. you got a lot of things going on. Yeah, I tried to make like Norwegian Christmas cookies, and okay. it turned out like, sno and, like stone. So <laughs> I didn't yeah. give that to my family. Yeah, didn't I didn't like want them idea. to be poisoned. Uh, yeah. I tried to cook French muffins and okay. I burned I burn them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like some, you know, mm. you're all getting towards the end of high school. You're going to have to work on the cooking a little bit before you go off to college. <laughs> yeah, <or> definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Last question. You know, what do you have planned for? You each have a year or two years left of school. Uh, and, and then what happens after that when you're done with high school? Um, when I'm coming, when I'm back in Norway, I have one more year. Okay. So I probably, like after high school, I'm probably going to like work and travel. I would really want to go backpacking in Asia, for example. Uh, I've never been there. I love to travel. And after that, I'm probably going to go to the university. Okay. And any idea what you want to study yet? Or? I have no clue. It's many different things. I have yeah. to like find out. You're interested in lots of things. Yeah. Maybe you want to be a chef. I uh, know. <laughs> Probably not. All right, we'll pass it. <laughs> we'll leave that to, uh, to Fede, who was here earlier. So, Lucas, how about you? So, when I came on my exchange, I thought this would like inspire me and show me the one way that I want to do <laughs> after yeah. I graduate. Has that happened yet? My path to the future. Yeah. And it turns out this time has just confused me more okay. mm, yeah. and occupied my brain so much for the particular day that I didn't really think about my future a lot. Okay. So, no clue. You're young. You still have time to figure right. it out. But you've even since the time we've talked on camera and off camera, you've mentioned you really enjoyed engineering, art, yeah. and all kinds of things. Art, music. The thing is, in Germany, only one third of the students actually go to college. Okay. 
and mm, many choose to go into a skill trade for sure. what they want to do after school, and I'm really undecided about all those things. All right. I'm passionate about a lot of things, right. but then I have to figure out what I want to do. So you've got some time to figure it out still. All right. And Leah, how about for you? Do you have an idea? Um, while I'm still in high school, I want to study a lot of languages. Okay. Um, that's really my thing. Yeah. And after that, I want to travel as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go to so many places, but I'm still young and, yeah, I want to do backpacking too a lot. Yeah. And, yeah, travel as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. Is there two or three places right towards the top of your list? China would be awesome. Okay. Um, and a big part of Asia. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I like a lot of places around the world. It's sure. just, yeah, I just have to choose the first one and then every single one after and that. There's a lifetime of adventure after yeah. that. All right, so yeah. lots to look forward to. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Lucas and Helene and, and Leah, thank you very much for coming to talk mm -hmm. with us today. And, and we're very glad that you spent the year here in Midland. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Well, that's a wrap on the 2016-17 season of MPS Today. We hope you've enjoyed the show, and we're looking forward to bringing you new information and shows in the upcoming fall. As we go to the credits, enjoy one more look at the construction through pictures and video at Central Park Elementary School. It will be an exciting fall when that building opens to welcome students for the first time in September. Be on the lookout for updates on the 2017-18 school year in August, and we'll see you next time on MPS Today.